What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a little bit of an interesting video for you guys. So as you guys know, I'm currently in Dallas. This is obviously pre-recorded, so there's not going to be any live gameplay or any like uh, tournament gameplay that I'm going to be reviewing just because I'm going to be away for the next couple days. So what I thought of was, you know, Siege is the most popular pushing mode at least. And what would you guys want to see? Obviously, you guys are watching the, the channel in order to get better at the game, maybe for entertainment. But that's more of like a Lex and Kairos thing. If you're watching me, you obviously want to get better at the game. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is the three brawlers that are best for high damage pushes. So obviously, it's dependent on the map. And some of the brawlers, like we're on Junk Park right now. And some of the brawlers I'm going to be playing isn't going to be necessarily amazing for Junk Park. But we're going to try and make do with it. We're going to try and show you guys exactly why they why they do so much damage to the icon and attack and yeah let's just hop into it and start talking okay so here we hop into the first game and so we obviously have second best on g and we got philly on the spike and the first brawler that we're going to be showing you guys today for the op pushes is none other than our boy dynamite it looks like they got an afk in the back or something i don't really know what's happening over here but we're just going to be able to easily easily take them out and the first thing you guys want to do bam what does that do? It allows the bot to go straight towards the Ike. Now here we go, the BB's starting to move. Uh, it allows the bot to go straight towards the Ike, and it takes a lot less time. I really don't understand what's happening in this game. It looks like we're just destroying them so hard they're about to give up. Looks like the Colt's still going in a little bit. Feli is getting some RNGs off on the safe over there. Going to be able to try and hit them. Looks like this BB is going to be pushing Feli. He is going to be able to get him, but I am going to be able to get the kill there. Or actually, no, Feli got the kill, technically. But Barley's going to use super. We should probably be able to get it pretty easily. All right, there we were, we were able to get the Barley. Now the Link, or I should say the BB's pushing back. And this is why Dynamite's so good. So you obviously have a path for uh, our guy to go. You're going to try and hit this, the Ike and a person at the same time. So you're charging your super. And you guys saw how fast of a push that was. And we're still able to go in and do a tremendous amount of damage. Now, it wasn't that much. It wasn't like a one push, but I swear the the bot was in there for like seven seconds. And we did 50% so ridiculously fast. Like if you're able to hold mid, which is the hard part about playing a dynamite, is holding, uh, holding possession. But if you are able to do so with dynamite, you're setting yourself up in a really good position to win the game. Just because your pushes are going to be so ridiculously strong. So obviously... We're doing a good job right here. It's four to one. Good grab over there by second. Gonna be able to finish that guy off. Gonna be able to super that barley, and we're looking really good. Feli's just hitting RNGs on the on the Ike over there. Uh, it looks like it's basically a dub at this point. Don't really know what that Colt's doing. A little short there. Looks like they're they're still going strong at it. We're able to take out that Colt. Looks like second's gonna be able to take out the barley super easy and you know this is at max going to be a two push comp just because we got that dynamite in there so we're just going to walk up we're just going to spray that safe and watch how fast that safe's just going to go down like it's it's ridiculous as long as you get that dynamite on that safe and you protect it you're going to do an insane amount of damage so that's going to be it for the first game let's talk into the top into the second game and let's show you guys who I, who I also think is unreal for those one pushes Okay, so here we go, and actually, funny enough, we're facing the exact same kids we faced last time. Or sorry, I didn't mean to say kids, it's a little bit rude. Um, just the last, the same players that we faced last time. Um, but yeah, Second's going to be able to take him out over there. I apologize for saying kids. I'm basically still a kid. Okay, we're able to take him out, and let's talk about Brock a little bit. So what makes Brock OP for that one push? So obviously the big determining factor is being able to take out this wall. That's what, that is huge. You absolutely need that if you want that big one push. And I'm talking about every single map that has an area like this, it has to be taken out. Like immediately taken out. Not like not not necessarily immediately, but the sooner the better. And you need it down for that first push. You can see we got the level five siege bot. What makes Brock so great is from those distances he's able to get, he's able to shoot that safe. So he's doing a lot of damage from afar so he doesn't have to go too close into the, into the action you know mike doesn't really have to as well but even with brock like it's even further than than mike so let's see what we can do over here obviously we're just going to get a super off onto that ike and then we're just going to start just wailing at it you know we're going off on it and we're able to do 58 okay it's not bad so there's 55 54 left on it right now finishing with 52 so with for the first push of the game that's really solid 
usually you're seeing like 70 percent ish left on the icon the first time but we're we're absolutely destroying it so far just gonna auto aim auto or well not auto aim let's see if we can help second all right second would have died over there so we were able to get a good shot off on that guy we're also able to get the barley did we hit okay we did hit the colt the BB is really the only thing that's disturbing us at this point. I'm going to use my super just because I know I'm going to get it back before the next uh, bot comes. So here we go. We have seven uh, power-ups again. As I said before, you know, the one push potential on these comps are so strong. And we're very likely, unless I'm taken out or unless we're team wiped or something, are going to be able to one push. Uh, so one shot until super. Now super isn't like huge, but it's obviously better than not having it. So we're going to be able to super the safe. Or the Ike, I should say, and that's obviously going to be a super easy push. That's two games back to back. We we're able to get it super easy. Just was two pushes, two star players, obviously, because we're doing an insane amount of damage to that Ike. Let's hop into the third and final game so we can show you guys the brawler that is also amazing for those big pushes. Okay, so here we go into the third and final game. We finally got a different team. This is actually a European team. I don't know why we're facing Europeans. We're going to be going with the homie Colt. Now, obviously, you guys just saw me beat a Colt two straight times. Come on, let's see if I can get this all right. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a difficult matchup over here. And Colt isn't as good, I'd say, on uh, on Siege as the other ones. Just because Colt, he's just not as strong as a Brawler right now as Mike is or as Brock is. So you're going to see a little bit more difficulty coming from Colt. But again, the same effect. You're just absolutely destroying that Ike as soon as you get on it. So if, it, if you can get on the Ike with Cole, it's it's very lethal. So as you guys can see, they're pretty much dominating us right now. It's pretty hard for us to gain possession on them since they're playing a very, very meta comp on this map. We're able to get that Penny over there. I am still confident though in our team just because, you know, probably the better players. So I think we are going to be able to do this. Looks like Feli is going to be able to take out Landy with a little bit of help from second. Second needs to get a super at this point so we can pull that bot. You guys are gonna see Feli with that with the super slowing down the bot. We're gonna try and get the penny, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do so. We're just gonna super a little bit upwards just because we don't obviously want to break that wall because it's gonna allow them to get that one push. And you guys can see, you know, they did a good amount of damage. They're all alive. We didn't we didn't have any supers, but they still didn't even do what we did when we were playing the uh, brawlers that we had before. Brock and Dynamite. So we're gonna be hit over there, unfortunately. We're gonna back up a little bit. Looks like Feli's going in. Feli is going to go down, though. Gonna see if we can snipe Landy over here. I don't think we're gonna be able to. So they have 4-1 lead again. So it's really not looking good for us at this point. They do have insane position on us. So all we really need is one more, is one push to do a, a really good amount of damage. I think Landy came a little bit too close to us. Hopefully I could pinch with Feli. I don't know if Feli's reading the pinch though. I don't think he understands that we have to pinch him. Tried to get him over there, but I wasn't able to do so. Just gonna take out that uh, annoying, annoying mortar over there. Gonna have Feli on them. We're gonna be able to take out one. Two will be able to be taken down. All right, so now we actually have a little bit of control in the middle of the map for the first time in the entirety of the game. You can see second is getting rushed right now. We're going to worry about just picking these up and breaking a few walls right now. Able to get Landy super, super low. Hopefully we can get a pinch going, but only if Feli starts to pinch. I can't really pinch a guy on my own, obviously. You can see Landy's just picking them up. Yeah, it looks like they're not pinching for some reason. Good pull over there by second best. Hopefully we're able to get this bot, because if we're not, we are going to probably lose that game. Or at least if we, we could tie, I suppose. So we're going to get some good clips over there on Landy. Obviously, this is the point where we have to break the wall. So we are able to get a really high damage push. So we're able to break that wall. We're going to be able to kill their Penny. Going to get out of the way over there. Going to try and get our super. They are doing some really good defense. So let's see if we can have some OP offense now. We're able to take out or almost take out the Carl. So we're going to have to back up. But again, as you guys saw, it wasn't the strongest push, but we did do a lot of damage. Okay, so we did do some good damage over there to Ming Wu. We just went off over there with that super. I don't know how we're alive. Oh my god, he's one shot. Please. How did second miss that? No. Okay, so that guy's going to go down over there. 
We're able to keep him one shot. I am going to go down, but it was much more important that we were able to get that kill on him and me go down. You know, I knew second best was over there, and if I didn't apply pressure, he would have healed up. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. It looks like we are going to be able to win the game, actually, even. So we're going to get a good clip over there on Landy, and I'm assuming that's going to be the game, to be honest. Like, with our high DPS because of the uh, because of the Colt, there's basically no way that they're going to be able to defend and, you know, not allow us to do 13% unless I'm going down. So I have to play super, super defensive. Uh, just don't let them kill me, and I'll be fine. They are doing a really good job on offense, but, you know, we're able to get two kills really easily, and that's going to be it. So that's going to be the game. That one was a lot more intense because we faced a really, really good team. Let's see what they're at. Yeah, they're, they're almost at 800, like they're really, really strong teams. But again, we're able to get the star due to the high DPS that the brawler that we're playing has. And that's going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys learned on what brawlers are super, super good within the meta in Heist when it comes to one pushing. And I hope you guys are able to push a lot of cups with these brawlers due to it. Or even playing other brawlers and have your teammates play the brawlers that I showed you guys. And you know, this is just going to help for super fast pushes if you guys are feeling it and playing well. So GG's to them to whoever I played with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.